We head to Hong Kong now, where the shortest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, the winter solstice, is no time to be glum. Adele Wong is a publisher and author based in Hong Kong. She spoke to me about the festivities there at this time of year. Winter solstice is quite a big deal here. Uh, even though it is the shortest day of the year, there is much to celebrate with because it means we'll only have longer and brighter days going forward. Um, so people, employees, workers get a half day off. Um, it's, uh, the day is meant to be celebrated with family. We eat Tong Yun dumplings, so sweet, glutinous rice dumplings, uh, which symbolize union uh, to in celebration. So lots to look forward to, and it's generally a very optimistic day. And also, coincidentally, even though winter solstice is not a holiday, we do have a long weekend here in Hong Kong because it tags on to Christmas. Uh, we've got Christmas Day, uh, which is Monday, and Boxing Day off as well. So very, very happy celebrations uh, going towards the end of the year for us Hong Kongers here. Yeah, uh, Adele, also, um, Hong Kong has gone through a great deal of change in the last few years, hasn't it? COVID um, being one of the main ones. What's the sense, what's the feeling and atmosphere in the city this year? Yeah, so we've had just so many years of uh, upheavals and just general unrest. It's, this year feels a lot different, um, actually. So we've uh, finally lifted all COVID restrictions, uh, no more uh, mandatory mask wearing. So you do feel that the vibe is quite different uh, this time around. The streets are getting more crowded, filled with people. People are venturing later out into the night. So we have a little bit more nighttime activity picking up. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like there's just a general sense of optimism uh, in the air uh, for, for Hong Kongers here. And do you think that optimism is um, going to carry on into 2024? I definitely hope so. Uh, there are lots of things to, to look forward to, but who knows? Uh, there's a lot of other COVID variants um, and, and strains. Who knows what's coming for us in 2024, but we're going to celebrate <laughs> Uh, end of 2023 for now because it's, uh, things are looking up. Keeping an eye on a few of our cameras this morning at 7.15 this morning. Be aware it's not yet light, of course, but we're going to Stonehenge right now. Well, it does, even though we haven't got the full light yet, it does look rather magnificent. And you can see people gathering. And for those of those sharp-witted amongst you, you will know today is the winter solstice for the Northern Hemisphere. Now, this, why is it winter solstice? It's the day of the year where the earth is tilted away from the sun the axis is rotate ro rotation is tilted away from the sun so that at, at its most point so that is the winter solstice shortest day of the year so for many happiest day of the year and we'll have the sunrise at is i think it's nine minutes past eight isn't it so in just under an hour and you can just imagine how beautiful it's going to be but stonehenge has always been a site that people go to gather at isn't it to mark this can we just listen in have we got sound on this i'm just can we listen in for a moment you get a little sense of the atmosphere there and literally in the last what is 10 or 15 minutes our cameras were there just looking and then obviously in the last few minutes people have been allowed to to uh, go to the stones and just be there for that moment i'm afraid as carol was uh, saying earlier on the weather has not been kind but they look like the kind of crowd who are well set to spend an hour or so waiting for uh, what could be a rather remarkable moment just a little light in the sky now absolutely so today is the date where we'll have the fewest hours of daylight in the year uh, so that's why it's known as the shortest day and the longest night but of course daytime still 24 hours we will be back there a little later on i tell you what to bring you something rather beautiful and something that celebrated the winter solstice. Shortest day, longest night of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. We've seen this morning hundreds of people gathering at Stonehenge and I think we can have a look at the pictures now. So yes, we saw it, what, about an hour ago and it was there was a little bit of light in the sky, but what, just a few minutes ago, wasn't it? Nine, Nine minutes, minutes past yeah. eight was officially the time um, when everyone would gather there and it is quite an occasion and of course, uh, now the restrictions have been eased, so people are allowed actually to be in and around the stones themselves. And you know what? As we do these days, everyone's taking a video, so that affects the signal, as you see, in and out. Um, but you've got a clear picture of kind of who's there. We can take you around the UK. Should we take you to London? 
Yeah, so, do you know what? Gloomy day. It's a shame on the on winter solstice because you kind of hope for a, I don't know, just because it is winter solstice, a dramatic sunrise. But, you know, cloudy, grey. Carol's going to tell us more about this. We can bring you here as well. What's outside our studio? That looks quite dramatic, actually. Is it raining this morning? Not sure. It looks as if the piazza, the ground is wet. Bit of well, rain. Well, but... I can confirm it was tipping down earlier on. Was it? Yeah, that's a, that's a technical meteorological phrase. So there, thanks so much for that. But we're going straight from you in the Cotswolds to Stonehenge because the winter solstice does seem to be delivering this morning. Yeah, you can see the crowds have been gathering what, the last hour or so because uh, this is the moment. Um, technically, I think it was nine minutes past eight uh, was the specific time. But what, we're, what we've been seeing as we've been watching these pictures is they really have got a proper sunrise this morning. It's, it's suddenly looking rather magnificent. These pictures from English Heritage and you can see lots of people gathering this morning to mark this day. This is the day, of course, uh, with the fewest hours of daylight across the calendar. The optimists um, everywhere, of course, say, ah, well, you know, the dark days are over. It's, it's that kind of sentiment, isn't it? It is my favourite day of the year because now I will just get more and more daylight. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. But um, a, a site that many people gather, gather at here, Stonehenge, um, of course, I think that's quite, it's quite a moment, isn't it, being in a crowd, witnessing that? Well, a little earlier on, our cameras, it, clearly, obviously, it was darker early on, but we mm. can see there was quite a bit of rain as well. I think the conditions are rather grim, but from what I'm seeing there, it looks like there's quite a clear sky now, though it's been a bit hard to, to work that out. Everyone's uh, dressed up warm just for the, uh, <coughs> the occasion, so we'll, we'll keep the cameras on there and um, keep watching for you this morning. 